today we will see options to debug the SAS macro. Till now we understand how to create the macros and how to create the variables and many other things. Think of a situation where you have highly coded macro and sometimes it gives you the error and you find it very difficult to find why it's giving you the error. Don't worry, for that situation, SAS provides you some of the important options which helps you debug the macros. So the options which are majorly used in that case are mprint, mlogic, and symbology. There are many others, but these are the one which are most often used and quite helpful. So let's go ahead and try to understand this all one by one in detail. Hello, welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. <clears throat> First option which we are gonna learn today is mprint. Before we start, let's have a look at its definition. Its definition says it specifies whether SAS statements generated by macro execution are traced for debugging or not. Alright. Okay. So the definition is not clear. Let's simplify the definition. Another def definition says mprint translates the macro language to regular SAS language. It displays all the SAS statements of the resolved macro code means if you have a macro and you run that in the log you would see the macro variables but when you use mprint and then you run the macro in the log you would see the actual value of those sas macro variables which will help you to find whether the past value is correct or not if it's not you will correct the past value and then you that's how you can fix the bug in your macro well still it's not clear let's go to the sas session and try to understand this here we have a code let me explain you this code first so here we have a data set here we are trying to find the frequency from this table and the frequency we want to find basis on the value which we are passing into this macro variable with a condition where the origin is something which is passed in the parameter and we are also giving a title to this kind of statement all right so let's try to execute this this code and try to see let's run this so now if you see there are two tables which have been printed first one is this is the frequency of type in USA the, meaning this table it shows the frequency of car types in USA and this table shows the frequency of car types in Asia now let's have a look at the log if you see here it says proc frick data equals to data all right it does not tells you what data here this process is using to tell you the frequency it does not tells you that what variable this process is using to tell you the frequency this does not tells you what kind of origin this process is using to tell you the frequency all right so it becomes difficult to trace it out. However, you manage to trace it based on the title. Now let's make it little complicated and let's comment this. Now you see the result. Now here you can only see what, uh, what is the frequency, but you don't know in which area 
this frequency what is the origin of this frequency and what is the origin for this frequency so this is this is where the title was helping you another problem let's look at the another problem let me change the origin over here as a now let's run this now if you see the result it shows only one table of frequency and you don't know for which origin this frequency is now you would go to the log you can try finding this in log and you see here it shows only process with the macro variables and does not tell you for which origin it has been executed if you focus on the logs then probably from this you can estimate that for this the frequency was printed because there were observations and for this the frequency was not printed because this has no observations all right but if your macro is quite big then it will be difficult to trace for which it is happening and for which it is not happening because this gets printed at the very bottom so this is where mprint comes into the picture now to deal with this situation you don't have to do much you just put options and put mprint and let's run this again the only one frequency is printed now let's go to the sas and try to understand so here it says first it compiled this entire statement and then if you can see if you can focus over here it clearly tells you line by line that first it has executed the value which has been passed here is sas help dot card and the variable which has been used to check the frequency is type and the value which has been used to filter on origin is usa so for usa it found 147 observation and gave you the frequency now let's see the next here you can clearly say see the table is same variable for the frequency is same but the filter value has been changed it has been changed to sa now you can see for this thing you don't have any observation over here so by this you can clearly understand that this sa does not exist in the origin column in sas help.cars data so this is how mprint helps you in the previous example you just saw that these values were not getting printed but now this is getting printed and helps you to debug the macro all right so this is how mprint helps you one thing to note if you use the mprint in one sas session that will work in multiple in all of the programs which you write into this current session if you terminate the session that will stop printing the thing for example if i remove this and if i run this code again again this will perform the work of mprint you can see it over here but if i terminate this session and then if i try to run this piece of code this will not print the value of these macro variables in the log i just hope that you understand the concept just in case if you have any kind of doubt do not hesitate to put your doubts in the comment section i will definitely get back to you and try to help you understand the things in detail in the next video we will see m logic for now thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck